Hello, Assalamualaikum. I am Madam Aisara. I am here because I want to talk about absolute value equation. Let's get started. Absolute value equation. Learning outcome. At the end of the lesson, students should be able to define absolute value of x equals to a and solve linear equation. Absolute value equation. Absolute value of x equals to a, which a more or equal to 0, can be interpreted as x equals to a or x equals to negative a, as shown on the number line below. To solve problem, we can use either passive definition or squaring both sides. If we want to use squaring both sides, we must make sure the both sides is R positive. But for basic definition, has no restriction. Now, we continue with example 3. Solve the following absolute value equations. Question A, absolute value of x equals to 4. Question B, absolute value of x plus 8 equals to 2. Question C, absolute value 5x minus 3 equals to 2. Question D, absolute value 4 minus x over 2 equals to 2. Question E, absolute value x plus 1 over x minus 3 equals to 2. Question F, 3, absolute value 2x minus 3 equals to 9. Question G, 2 multiply absolute value 2x plus 7 minus 4 equals to 16. Okay, let's look at the solution for question A. Absolute value of x equals to 4. As you can see, the left side is positive. But the right side is also positive. So, since the both side is positive, we can use either a square both side or basic definition. So, I want to fix for you. Okay, if you see uh, the equation has one absolute like this like this question, you straight away use basic definition. If you uh, if you have a question with two absolute, for example, x absolute value x plus 1 equals to absolute value 2x minus 1. So, this is, uh, you will need to use squaring for side. So, I fix for you. If you see one absolute, you straight away use basic definition. If you use, uh, if you have a question with two absolute value, so straight away use squaring for side. Okay. So, for this case, we get x equals to 4 or x equals to negative 4. Let's look at the solution for question B. Absolute value x plus a equals to 2. Since this is uh, one absolute, we straight away use basic definition. So we get x plus a equals to 2 or x plus a equals to negative 2. So we solve separately, we get x equals to negative 6, x equals to negative 10. So the answer is x equals to negative 6 or x equals to negative 10. Now, uh, we continue with solution question C. Absolute value 5x plus 3 equals to 2. So, since this is one absolute, we straight away use basic definition. So, 5x plus 3 equals to 2 or 5x plus 3 equals to negative 2. We solve separately. For 5x plus 3 equals to 2, we get 5x equals to 2 minus 3 and then 5x equals to negative 1. And then finally we get x equals to negative 1 over 5. But for 5x plus 3 equals to negative 2, we get 5x equals to negative 2 minus 3. And then 5x equals to negative 5. And finally we get x equals to negative 1. So finally we get the answer x equals to negative 1 over 5 or x equals to negative 1. 
for solution absolute value 4 minus x over 2 equals to 2. Since this is one absolute value, so we straight away use basic definition. So for basic definition, uh, one is positive, uh, one is negative. So then we get 4 minus x over 2 equals to 2, one, uh, one pecahan, or 4 minus x over 2 equals to negative 2. And then we solve separately. For 4 minus x over 2 equals to 2, we get negative x over 2 equals to 2 minus 4. And then we get negative x over 2 equals to negative 2. And finally, we get x equals to 4. For 4 minus x over 2 equals to negative 2. So we bring 4 to the right, we get negative x over 2 equals to negative 2 minus 4. And then we get negative x over 2 equals to negative 6. And finally, we get x equals to 12. Therefore, the final answer is x equals to 4 or x equals to 12. Now, let's look at the solution E. Absolute value x plus 1 over x minus 3 equals to 2. Since this is one absolute, we straight away use basic definition. So we get x plus 1 over x minus 3 equals to 2 or x plus 1 over x minus 3 equals to negative 2. And then we saw separately for x plus 1 over x minus 3 equals to 2, we get x plus 1 equals to 2 x minus 3. We cross multiply. And then we get uh, we simplify, we get negative x equals to negative 7. And finally, we get x equals to 7. For x plus 1 over x minus 3 equals to negative 2, we cross multiply and then we get x plus 1 equals to negative 2 multiply x minus 3. Then, we simplify, we get 3x equals to 5. And finally, we get x equals to 5 over 3. Therefore, the answer is x equals to 7 or x equals to 5 over 3. Now, let's look at the question F. 3 multiply absolute value 2x minus 3 equals to 9. So, since this is 1 absolute, we straight away use basic definition. So, we get 3 multiply 2x minus 3 equals to 9 or 3 multiply 2x minus 3 equals to negative 9. And then we saw separately for 3 multiply 2x minus 3 equals to 9, we simplify, we get 2x minus 3 equals to 3. And then we get 2x equals to 6. Finally, we get x equals to 3. For 3 multiply 2x minus 3 equals to negative 9, we simplify, we get 2x minus 3 equals to negative 3. And then we get 2x equals to 0. And finally, we get x equals to 0. So, therefore, x equals to 3 or x equals to 0. Let's look at for the solution equation G. We have 2 multiply absolute value to x plus 7 minus 4 equals to 16. Okay. As you can see, the left side has have two objects. So the first object is absolute, the second object is 4. Uh, but on the right side, we have 16. Only 16 is one object. So, we need to simplify to get one object equals to one object. So, we simplify first. 2 multiply absolute value to x plus 7 minus 4 equals to 16. Now, we bring negative 4 to the right side. So, we get 2 absolute value to x plus 7 equals to 16 by 4. And then, we get 2 multiply absolute value to x plus 7 equals to 20. Finally, we get absolute value to x plus 7 equals to 10. This is one, one object. And then, uh, since this is one absolute value, we straight away use basic definition. So, we get 2x plus 7 equals to 10 or 2x plus 7 equals to negative 10. And then, we saw separately for 2x plus 7 equals to 10, we get 2x equals to 10 minus 7. And then we get 2x equals to 7. Finally, we get x equals to 3 over 2. And for 2x plus 7 equals to negative 10, 
we simplify, we get 2x equals to negative 10 minus 7. And then we get 2x equals to negative 17. And finally, we get x equals to negative 17 over 2. And finally, the answer is x equals to 3 over 2 or x equals to negative 17 over 2. Next, we continue with example 4. Solve the following absolute value equation. For question A, absolute value x plus 2 equals to 2x minus 5. For question B, 2x plus 9 equals to absolute value 5x plus 3. Now let's look at the solution for question A. Absolute value x plus 2 equals to 2x minus 5. As you can see, the left side is positive since absolute value is always positive. But we cannot make sure that 2x minus 5 is positive or negative. So for this case, we cannot use squaring both sides. We have to use basic definition. By using basic definition, we write x plus 2 equals to 2x minus 5 or x plus 2 equals to negative 2x minus 5. One is positive, one is negative. And then we solve separately these two equations. For x plus 2 equals to 2x minus 5, we get x minus 2x equals to negative 5 minus 2. And then we get x equals to 7. For x plus 2 equals to negative 2x minus 5, we get x plus 2x equals to 5 minus 2. And, we, and then we get 3x equals to 3. And finally, as the answer, equals, x equals to 1. Now, since the left side is uh, the left side is positive, but the right side is cannot be defined as positive of negative, so we have to checking the answer x equals to seven and x equals to one. Okay, how to check answer? So to check answer, we we need to substitute the value of x into original equation. For this, for this case, original equation is absolute value x plus 2 equals 2 to x minus 5. So now we have to check for both x. For x equals to 7, after, uh, the, we substitute 7 into uh, equation. Absolute value 7 plus 2 and then 2 multiplied 7 minus 5. And... It satisfies the equation, meaning that the left is equal to right side. And then we checking for x equals to 1. Substitute into the equation. So the left side is absolute value 1 plus 2. And the right side is 2 multiplied by 1 minus 5. And it's not satisfied the equation since the left side is 3. The right side is negative 3. So, finally, the answer is x equals to 7. Since x is equal to 7, it satisfies both sides. Now, let's look at the solution for question B. The question B, 2x plus 9 equals to absolute value 5x plus 3. So, we need to, uh, to change absolute on the left side so we uh, the equation should be absolute value 5x plus 3 equals to 2x plus 9 so this is similar to question a since the left side is positive but the right side we cannot make sure this is positive or negative so we need to use basic definition so 5x plus 3 equals to 2x plus 9 or 5x plus 3 equals to negative 2x minus 9. And then we saw separately for 5x plus 3 equals to 2x plus 9, we get 5x minus 2x equals to 9 minus 3. So finally we get 3x equals to 6, x equals to 2, x equals to 2 as the answer.
and for 5x plus 3 equals to negative 2x minus 9, we get 5x plus 2x equals to negative 9 minus 3, and then 7x equals to negative 12, and finally we get x equals to negative 12 over 7 as the answer. So for this case, we need to check the answer. So we check the answer for x equals to 2. So substitute into the original equation. Original equation is 2x plus 9 equals to absolute value 5x plus 3. Or we can use uh, absolute value 5x plus 3 equals to 2x minus 9. So we substitute x equals to 2 and it satisfy the equation. For x equals to negative 12 over 7, we substitute into original equation. It also satisfy the equation since the left side is equal to the right side. So finally, the answer is x equals to 2 or x equals to negative 12 over 7. Now let's see the solution for question A. Absolute 2x plus 8 is equal to absolute x minus 1. To solve this equation, you can use squaring both sides. First, use squaring both sides. 2x plus 6 square is equal to x minus 1 square. And then you expand. 4x square plus 24x plus 36 equals to x square minus 2x plus 1. And then you get 3x squared plus 26x plus 35 equals to 0. Factor you get 3x plus 5, x plus 7 equals to 0. And lastly, you get x equals to negative 5 over 3 or x equals to negative 7. Let's look at the solution for question B. For absolute x minus 2 equals to absolute x plus 2. To solve this equation, you can use squaring both sides. Squaring both sides of this equation, you get 4 square x minus 2 square is equal to x plus 2 square. And then you expand, you get 16x square minus 4x plus 4 is equal to x square plus 4x plus 4. Simplify this equation, you get 15x square minus 68x plus 60 is equal to 0. Factorize the equation, you get 3x minus 10, 5x minus 8 equal to 0. Finally, you get x equals to 10 over 3 or x equals to 6 over 5. That's all for today. Thank you. Bye. Bye. See you.